Okay, before we look at how we can use the fast color corrector to make adjustments to our brightness level, let's take a look at another way. Let's go ahead and close that up and we can toggle the effect off just by selecting this and this is another way to kind of see a before and after. Uh, we're going to turn it off and we're going to go and find another way to do this. And this time I'm going to just type in curves here and get our RGB curves and I'm going to drop that on our image here. Uh, again make sure that I'm on the right clip and go back to my effect controls. Now the RGB curves uh, might be familiar to those that work in Photoshop or those that used it in Avid before and it's another good way to adjust our uh, brightness levels uh, to get our image looking a little better. So just to kind of take a look at uh, a lot of the same things you have your composite and Luma uh, choices here we've got our, our split view of course there's nothing uh, to see a split and then we have uh, our actual adjustments here we're gonna deal with the master uh, the master is gonna be our brightness levels now uh, just like in in Avid we've got our curve here and we can make adjustments as we bring the top which is the whites over to the left everything gets brighter as we bring it down all of our brights, our highs get lower. Conversely, uh, you've got the bottom of this curve, which is not really a curve yet, but it will be. Uh, and as we move that across, notice the darks get darker, blacker. And as we move it up across the top, we're raising them up. Now, take note of how these changes are reflected not just in the program monitor but also here in the reference monitor so again when I drag this down notice everything comes down in our level down here now I'm between 60 and and zero uh, if I grab the blacks and move those down and I can see I can start crushing my black values down here at 100 okay so what we want to do is we want to uh, work this the same way that we were working with the other controls in the fast color corrector in that we want to work our blacks first so I'm gonna go ahead and take this point here and I'm gonna bring it down so that I can bring my blacks to zero okay very much like we did before uh, and now I have my blacks at zero I want to take my whites and I want to bring my whites down to 100 and I can use my contrast range indicator to see okay now I'm between 100 and 0 so I've already uh, improved the image now the midtones here are controlled uh, by this line but this is where the curves come in if I click anywhere in this line and now as I adjust notice that the midtones the middle of our waveform here are going up and down I can also slide this and, and and deal with more of the brights or more of the uh, more of the highlights up here, more of the shadows down here, and uh, and of course in the middle is the midtones. Now, so one nice thing I can do here is I can say, okay, I want to brighten up, and I also want to darken at the same time. So I can add another point by clicking on this line, and I can actually, at the same time as I'm bringing down uh, the shadows in the in the midtones I can also brighten up the rest of it and what we get here as a result is we're starting to get all this detail back in our image so if we look once again at our split screen and let's go ahead and uh, switch to vertical here you can see that we have gained back a lot of detail all of this area here was crushed into this little space here all the detail at the top was crushed to the top and now it's spread out a little bit uh, and of course we've got our blacks down at the black level as opposed to up at around 15 so uh, we can see that we've, we've accomplished a lot just by making this what we call an S curve here on our curves so uh, now you've seen two ways to make the adjustments to your brightness using the fast color corrector and in this case the RGB curves and again we'll turn this split view off you can see before and after and again don't just concentrate on the image uh, also take a look at our reference monitor as we go between 
uh, on and off. So in this case, this is the corrected one, and this is the uncorrected. Big difference. All right, in our next video, we're going to take a look at one more way uh, that you can make these same adjustments using Premiere.